Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, I'm Chief Sweet, and today we're going to be setting up a Madagascar hissing cockroach enclosure. Now before we do that, let's get to know the roach itself. These little guys come from the island of Madagascar, obviously. They are nocturnal and like a warm human environment with humidity around 60 to 70%. If your house sits anywhere between 70 to 80 degrees, you can keep these guys at room temperature. However, if not, if you live in like Alaska or whatever, you might wanna get a heat pad. On the touch of heat, I will say if you do get a heat mat, make sure to put it on a thermostat because a lot of times if you put it on the side or even on uh, below, they might burrow, they get down there and they'll just sit on it. Especially if you put it on the side of the tank, they will climb up the tank and just sit there and gather the heat. So put it on a thermostat so that way, you know, if it gets too hot, it'll just clock off. Um, that's really it on the heat part. The optimal temperature for these guys is between 70 to 85 degrees. However, if you want to breed, yeah, you could take it up to 90. So you can actually feed these guys a dry diet or a juicy diet. Juicy, like oranges, bananas, apples, pretty much any fruits or vegetables out there. A dry would be like dog food, mouse pellets. Um, I mean, these guys pretty much eat anything. But one thing that's important is that you should feed these guys like right before you go to bed, like at nighttime, because you don't want the fruit sitting in there. They usually come around at nighttime to feed. You don't want the fruit drying out in there, sitting in there all day. So if you put it in there at night, you can get it out in the morning and just vice versa. Now for water, it's pretty easy. All you need is a little water bowl and some water. Make sure it's not too deep though. I usually put a very shallow amount in there. Um, you can also use a sponge soaked in water inside the water bowl, so that way um, they could come and just suck on the sponge. There's also like a wick method, which is pretty much just getting like a, a little rope or something, putting it in like a, a bowl, and they'll come and they'll suck the uh, water off the wick. And that's pretty much it. Now let's go ahead and talk about the enclosure itself. You're gonna want a very secure enclosure. You can keep them in a five gallon, a 10 gallon. Some people keep them in tubs, but you want it to be secure because these guys can climb up glass. They can pretty much climb up walls, anything really. Um, a lot of people will put Vaseline around the top of whatever they keep them in. I'm gonna go ahead and keep them in this right here. It's a five gallon Thrive. I got it from uh, PetSmart. Um, right here though, as you can see, there's like these little slots. I have very small Madagascar roaches, they're juveniles, and they can fit through those slots. So what, like I said, we're gonna do is just gonna put a line of Vaseline around the top. They won't cross the line. I'm gonna put it about an inch because they're not even an inch long right now. I was gonna put them in this little nano exoterra tank, but there's these little gaps and they can definitely fit through these little gaps when they're juveniles. When they're older, they probably won't be able to, they're too big. But right now they definitely can. Um, even there's like this little like seam right here, you can see through it. They can fit through that itself as well. It's probably better I got a bigger aquarium that's more flat because these guys aren't gonna climb trees. I mean, they can do it, but they like to sit on the floor. They like to hide in the leaves and all that stuff. But without further ado, I hope I told you what you need to know about Madagascar roaches. Let's go ahead and set up the enclosure, shall we? For substrate, we're going with Reptibark. We're gonna use two of these I got at Walmart for a dollar. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this little dinosaur head that I got for free from when I bought an aquarium a long time ago on Facebook Marketplace. So go ahead and pour in your Reptibark. Go ahead and make sure you have about like an inch uh, inch deep layer. You're gonna go ahead and spread it around, make sure it's evenly distributed throughout the tank. And then you're gonna go ahead and put in all your stuff, like my food bowls. I'm gonna go ahead and put the dinosaur in the corner. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw in some uh, cork bark because I feel like cork bark's really just gonna set this whole piece up. Now it's time to get the roaches. Now, don't hate me, but this is literally what I've been keeping the roaches in while I was gonna go ahead and get their setup ready. And they've been in this enclosure for about two weeks. Uh, as you can tell, it is just minimal as best. Uh, I have the Vaseline in, around the top, as you can see. You can't see them. It's because they're underneath the cork bark. So check this out. Bam, look at them go, look at them go. Now let's just go ahead and put these in the aquarium and we're ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this enclosure the graveyard because of the T-Rex skull, and it is finally complete. And I know a lot of people will be thinking like, wow, you really did this for, <laughs> for some Madagascar roaches? But I absolutely love this and they love it too. They're so active and they, they're they crawling around the cage, they're exploring new places, and even crawling on the T-Rex skull himself. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. If you wanted to see anything else or know anything else, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.